so gorgeous. I assume Life is Strange 2 looks just as good as this. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Get to aim it. Let's get the very top one. Yes. Went a little bit low, but that's fine. One more. What if I hit the window? Okay, you can aim better than that. You better stop right now. Fuck you. Yeah. Logo appears when a task has been completed. Ah. Okay, cool. Is this one of my tasks? Extra bonus points unlocked. I guess it wasn't. Did I actually unlock something though? Document gallery. Oh, there's like a treasure chest on the top right of the screen. Is that like inventory? It said how to access the inventory, but I don't remember how. Oh well, not important. Oh my god, there's even deformation of the snow when you walk through it. Oh my god. Awesome! It's now snowy and sunny outside. This game is gorgeous. I can't believe how much better it looks than the original Life is Strange. I mean, the original Life is Strange is decent looking, but this is amazing. Okay. No way. <laughs> the fuck for family fun come play with your gun all day Saturday and Sunday I'm good where do we live oh I've got the car keys right ooh well listen to that sound you can even see it too. The sun and and maybe just the ambient temperature is uh, melting the snow. You can hear the drips. Yeah, wonderful sound design. Can't help but notice that flock of birds over there. Reminds me of Life is Strange. There's a lot of stuff about birds behaving strangely. I 
I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Dear Mr. Erickson, this is Dr. Tamara Fallman of Beaver Creek Social Services. As a representative of the county's elementary school districts, we would appreciate if you could arrange to come in with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon. Hmm. wonder why, specifically. I wonder if they noticed the arm thing, or if that's from something else. I mean, who knows? Power drive? I feel like this is gonna get me in bad, bad trouble. I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. Okay, fair enough. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. This box has been here forever. Big hole up there. This part, Dad never threw away Mom's hiking boots. Good. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. was awesome. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Oh, hello. Hold on, before I even read this, look at where this is from. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay. There's a connection. Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, it's Principal Blackwell Academy. I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with a long list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here. Thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. I'm going to go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Eugene State College, Art Department... Dr. Emily received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. You can read the rest of this if you'd like. Yeah, so pause their studies. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that and Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night, good night, handsome. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Oh, I see. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Neighborhood Watch, The Jock and the Artist. Gene State College, 2005. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. 
Emily White is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this newspaper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at a library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy blushing Charles, clearly a man in love. But you're actually at the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Oh, this one might be 2005. What kind yes. of... Yes! Firecrackers. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Local woman killed in hit and run. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16th, 2014, at 7.15 p.m. Tuesday night on Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive. The victim, identified as Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking from her stranded car when she was struck head-on by an unidentified speeding vehicle. She is survived by a husband and son who were not on the scene at the time. Captain Anderson says that the toll cameras may hold important clues. We're treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Anybody with information regarding incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police Hotline. Damn. So, I don't... It's... Is it 2015? Uh, but anyway, they died on December 16th. Which, given that it's almost Christmas, is right about this time right now. Stranded vehicle. Stuck in snow, probably. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Emily Erickson, beloved wife. Mother, daughter departed the world far too soon. Um, let's see, passionate artist since kindergarten. She was near the top of her class. Uh, you can read this if you'd like. I do have a feeling, though, that, man, there's a lot of dates in here. There could be a lot of potential pin numbers for Charles's phone. Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely note and flowers for Kristen's birthday. They always mean more coming from you. We miss you and would love to see how Chris is growing. Like you, we also still miss Emily every day, every hour and minute. And we know that grief is part of your life, so always know that we think of you often. We're always here for you like you were there for us. Forever. Please stay in touch, and let's make plans to meet soon. Your family, and always in our hearts and prayers. I could turn the light off before I leave. Let's be environmentally responsible. I want to go in and check a possible pin combination for Charles's phone. I think Charles is asleep, of course. Ah, oh, look at that fire reflection on the ground. Yep. It's actually for the best. I'd rather not wake them up. So, potential pin number. Um, included in that document, in that unlocked place, at the, uh, what was it, the obituary, I think? It said that they had gotten married on May 1st, 2006. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. I tried a couple different ways of writing it. Snowmancer. No, my answer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do?
<laughs> They've got a bunch of cigarette butts in there. Head is hair. Blow up? That's what the firecracker's for? Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him for now. Took a good chunk out of him. Impressive. Oh, look at the reflections on that. That is the gorgeous. snow reminds me of the Great Ice Apocalypse War. Oh my god. The lake demon is rising. They were in the carport, weren't they? I think they're what made the noise. Dad won't fix the swing because it's too dangerous to fix. Wow, this fence is in shambles. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Of course Charles does. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Ew. Gross. I love just like how in Life is Strange 1, Inden, before the storm, they give you options to just sit somewhere and just look. There's probably licensed music playing right now that's just been muted. But even without that, it's gorgeous. A little fort in this junk pile here. Go 
signal is kind of sounds stronger on the left. I don't know if I should be going towards it or away from it. You better look at that map again. Mom was so pretty. I miss Mom's smile. This game is really depressing, huh? Here I come, man, Troid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late, emergency. SOS, crash landing. Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! Man, they did such a good job blending the imagination so with dark. reality. And the sky is so red. Like blood. Oh, that's no gorgeous. Troy lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. I get to actually move around this environment. Sweet. Oh. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. Damn, come to my planet. Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward. You're 
This time, you won't get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. That button? Oh, oh. That's where... That's where their mom was hit with the car. Pay for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. So, to Captain Spirit, they're the one who took their mother, Mantroid, aka the person who did the hit and run. Okay, uh, what do we have left? I still need to unlock Dad's phone. That's actually an of, like an official quest. I need to do that so I can play Mustard Party 2. <laughs> oh, I still need to, I guess, like find the basement. Because I need to find the water eater. Let's see if we can find the water eater. Oh, this back room in the kitchen. There's a light. Turning it on probably will allow me to. Yes. Go into the dark door. Ooh. Hmm. That has a secret. Can I call them? I bet I can. That's their new girlfriend, I guess? Uh, yeah, I think their boyfriend or girlfriend at this point sounded like. Hmm. That has a secret. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. I don't think you put any detergent in, kid. Alright, let's see if I can call Audra. Um, I guess I could put the car keys in here now, right? I don't need them anymore. Yeah! Welcome to Kitty Club. Meow. Odessa speaking. Oh. Hi? You sound like you're looking for a kitty cat tonight. Mm. Uh, my dad won't let me have a cat, but I would love... Your dad? What? Christ, who is this? How old are you? Hello? Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom.
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, that is cool. I'm not scared of you, water eater. Too hard. I've tamed the water beast. <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. Wonder what they taste like. Can't figure out the password, the pin number for their phone. Um, let me just try to wake him up, see if there's something else I gotta trigger before I can do that, maybe. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up! Dad, come on! Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh, Dad! Uh, uh, fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Uh, fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just. Just? Just hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Wink, like wink at the audience. Used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Totally. Me and my dad were just decorating the tree, and I tripped over the lights, and the tree almost crashed on me. But Dad caught it, and he fell, so... So... Gee... That's some story. Is everybody all right? Um, yeah. 
must have been quite a scare. I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son, right? Oh, my dad wants to, but he's super busy today. Too busy on a Saturday to help you with the treehouse? Yeah, he's tired from work and stuff. Plus, he's got to support his team. Maybe he should support his son instead. Yeah. There's always another game, right? Okay, Chris. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Stephen about this, and we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait. You don't... Please. Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? We want to help. You're not in trouble. You haven't done anything. Just stay put and we'll come by in a little bit. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. <laughs> It's your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! I'm guessing there was dramatic music there that was <laughs> muted, but it was kind of interesting that it was all silent. I guess waking up the dead is the end of the game. It's too bad I never found the pin number to play whatever that mustard something game was, but I'm sure it's not too important. Okay, well, that was longer than I thought. Of course, I made it longer by looking at every single possible thing, but for a demo for Life is Strange 2 or whatever exactly it's supposed to be, that was surprisingly large. That was, I mean, it was good. In a lot of ways. Like technologically and art design wise and sound design wise, it's it's wonderful. It looks great, it sounds great. It's really impressive. And as always, I just like to go around and examine everything in these people's rooms and learn more about them. But damn is it unpleasant. Not just because it's just generally depressing, but hey, you got an abusive father. Yay. Drunk abusive father. 
the whole time you're playing it, either directly there or talking in the background or something. They're just always there. I think the next door neighbor kid at the very end might be uh, one of the characters from Life is Strange 2. It's definitely connected to the Life is Strange universe, undoubtedly. I mean, the Arcadia Bay thing, the bird thing, the superpower thing, even if they're not real superpowers. Although at the end there, I don't know exactly what that was. I don't know if that was saying they actually do have superpowers or if that was just a particularly strong imagination for what happened there because they were, I mean, obviously they were just distraught emotionally at that time because their dad is a piece of shit. So I'm not exactly sure what to take away from that. This has definitely made me want to play Life is Strange 2 more than I did before. Not that I ever wasn't going to play it. Not that I've played this. I'm like, I want to see how it connects to Life is Strange 2. And also I want to play through a whole full game where everything looks as good as it does here. I'm still wondering how I'm going to handle Life is Strange 2. Um, I could just start playing it right now. The first episode has been released as of the recording of this. But I also wonder if it might be a good idea to wait until maybe just a little bit before the last episode comes out, and then I can kind of play it all in one go. Might be better that way. More fresh in my mind. I don't know. I'll see. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching.